Okay, guys, so bear with me. I'm pre-coffee and I'm pissed off. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I have a few things that really triggers me. And I think the main thing that really gets me going, that really ticks me off, is when people talk about rules in art. Because there are no fucking rules in art art it's only a matter of opinion and taste something you love i might hate that doesn't mean that i can say that art is wrong it, i can only say that oh i don't like this but i can never say it's wrong um and why am i triggered by this well there was talk this morning. I, I there's a video up that I've been looking forward to seeing for a while now. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to kick you guys. Um, still pre coffee. This is my first cup of coffee. I just got up, and uh, I woke up and first thing just checking what time it is because I hadn't heard the alarm go off, and I actually woke up before the alarm today. Okay. Uh, so the first video. I saw the notification and I got so happy because it's the video I've been waiting for and hoping to see. It was about a journal and I've been so curious about that journal. And uh, I was so happy. I was like, yay. But then there was talk about people say about rules and this is not what people, you know. And oh, you're mixing colors. It, it doesn't match, but it matches. And I'm, I'm like, honey, matching isn't using the same color. Um, let me give you an example. Um, um, okay, so here, this little scrap. Let me stand up for a little bit. Okay, so this little scrap here. You have different kind of blue. This is monochrome. This is different kind of blue. Yes, it matches. But, uh, what should we take, for example? Let's take this. Would you say this doesn't match? It shows up a lot brighter on the camera than, than it does in real life. I mean, they match, but they're not the same color. We have red, we have brown, we have yellow, we have pinkish red, we have green, we have yellow, we have white, we have brown. I mean, we have all sorts of colors and we have gold. It does match. Let me give you another example. Here, take a look at this. If we think away the black spot, doesn't this match? That's two kinds of pink. There's blue, there's green, there's um, gray. I almost said brown, I mean gray. And then you have the black spot for contrast. Would you say this doesn't match? There's pink, blue, and gray. And green. Those match. Matching doesn't mean that you have to use the same color. Matching only means you use colors of the same kind of tone. Understand? Um, you can wear a pink skirt and a blue top if they have the si same kind of tone. How can I explain that? If you think of pastel rainbow, would you say that the rainbow wouldn't match itself? No. Because they're all pastel. They're all kind of the same tone um and when we make art we try to make statements which means yeah we can use monochrome but a lot of times we kind of want to have some contrast to make something pop like the black dots on this one we make the little contrast to make it pop even more from another otherwise kind of bland page we have the black spot that just go doink. Um, <clears throat> let's see if I have something else good here. I didn't prep this. I just got pissed and I wanted to talk to you guys about this. Um, let me look around here. I have so much stuff around me. Um, oh, yeah, come here. I don't like this paper because I don't like, like the tone scale. But you have blue and you have red. And you wouldn't say this paper match. But you have the same tone. I don't like this paper, but that's a whole other story. Um, yet, it's the same paper that I used for this tag. 
I use this paper for this tag. Um, I was gonna make a video about making stuff with your ugly paper, because you all spend a lot of money on these amazing paper packs, and uh, there's so much of it that you don't like. Um, usually that kind of ends up with me. Papers that you don't like, I usually get. <laughs> so I'm not complaining. It's nice to have papers. But I also feel sad that you spend money on it. And, um, oh, oops, hang on. Now it was time to get out of bed. Okay. Um, you spend money on your papers, so I feel like you should need. So I was actually planning to make a video about using ugly paper. And then I saw someone else had made that. So I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. But um, uh, let's talk a bit more about colors. So I brought this one. I passed it in the hallway. Uh, it's right by my... Let me move my coffee. I'm going to spill it all over. Um, I need to stand up because I don't know what you guys can see. Okay, so the chain gets stuck and I hit the tripod. Okay. So here we go. Um... Can I make you see the whole thing? Yeah, maybe if I move some stuff around. I have so much stuff here. Mm -mm. Like that, maybe you can see a bit more. Okay. So most people say this, this painting is like blue because that's the main color. It doesn't show up that much on camera though, but there is a lot of blue here. This is however not a monochrome painting because there are several different colors but they all kind of go in the same tone. Like here you have the iridescent beads, the kind of color shift. You have the black, you have the silver, you have more silver, you have two types of blue. Can you even tell? Oh, it's not really picking up. You have white, you have silver, and you know, we have different types of blue and stuff. So there are different kind of colors on this one. Um. So, even if you use like this, make a set and like use the same kind of colors that have the same color color theme. I'll show you something else. Um, bring up this baby. So uh, I took like a uh, color for each month. Oh, it's so much dog hair stuck here. Uh, I took a color for each month and. Even if I use the same kind of, so let's take March here. I have red and you see there are different types of red. This is like an orangey yellowy kind of red uh, on this page. And then we open up and you have a totally different kind of red. Can you see me? I'm sorry, I'm bouncing up and down here. Oh, that hurt my knee so bad. Ouch. So here we have a different kind of red, uh, but it's still red. And here you have another type of red. This is These two reds are really different kind of reds. See it if I do this. This is sort of a brownish, yellowy kind of red. Um, and this is more like a pinkish red going that way, kind of colder. And this is a warmer red. So a lot of times you can get away with using, like, these two pages match each other, even though the color scheme are different because they're both warm color. I don't know how well it shows up on camera because they kind of shows colors differently. I can't get my phone to show purple for some reason. Anyway, so, um, but again, there are no rules. You can't say that you can't put this and that color together. I know there are some people who say, oh, you can't use brown and black together. Yes, you can. Oh, you can't use pink and red together. Yes, you fucking can. There are no rules, only what you want to do and what you want to um, portray. Because when we make things, it's, it's an expression. Whether we think about it logically or not, it is an expression. It is, we look at something we make and we like it or we hate it. But it is still an expression. It's still something that comes from us. Um, now the good thing about making art is if you don't like it, you can just redo it. Especially if you do canvas, just paint it over with gas or start again. Do something else. Um, so there are no real rules in art. Yeah, sure. There are common sense. Oh, I just realized my lid wasn't on. There are some common sense rules like 
glue stick doesn't really hold metal very well <laughs> if you want to glue metal there are that kind of rules you know um but then again when you come to paints um people say this paint doesn't go with that paint and yes they are kind of right if you use different kind of paint mediums but what if you want to use the techniques i mean the people that do the silicone pour that makes the acrylic paint go all bubbly that's i bet you 10 to 1 that was started with a happy accident because those didn't follow the rules that people have always said and art teachers that keep saying that your things aren't art those should be flipping fired i have been lucky i've been studying art in different types of ways uh for a long oh it doesn't look like it's a hole in there sorry squirrels squirrels get in a row let's talk about one thing uh i just threw a bead on the floor um i've seen so many amazing artists that have been told that their art isn't art by their teachers in school i've been lucky um in school we had like the last three years of like basic school. We have a different school system than American has. Um, so you do nine years in like uh, basic school. And it's like um, three years in each kind of level. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, uh, so the last three years there, normally you pick up a second language and learn like French or German. That's the most common thing. I, did, I went for... Um, what would it be in English? Uh, like uh, art craft, maybe um, images. So we learned a lot about colors, but I was mainly working then with ceramic clay. I like that the most, and I also really early came in with collage and no one else was doing like collage because it felt like kindergarten -y. oh you're just gluing stuff together my art teacher however stepped in and said well if she feels that is art to her then that is art and i really like what she's making and that stuck with me and she is a pretty big artist she makes a living out of being an artist and she was just i mean we were so lucky to have her in our school as a teacher uh, she she didn't do like full time and stuff, but she was amazing. And I see her paintings hanging bit everywhere and her sculptures and stuff. I mean, she's she's she was awesome. Um, it was a long time ago. I'm not sure she's still alive. I hope she is. Um, and then in '95, I went to Vanamo and I studied. Uh, I had I didn't have a lot of it, but I had a few hours a week um, art and image. I kind of call them the same thing, art and image, but it was very different. Uh, now that that art teacher that I had then, she was mainly doing clay and ceramics, and I was I was still I always loved you know sculpting and so on. So I have. Actually, I have it in the other house. I have stuff that I made back then. And um, the irony is I, most of the stuff that I've learned uh, is mediums that I don't no, no longer kind of use. But I use like polymer clay and it's kind of, I can't say it's the same. You, you get a whole different, but you're still sculpting, if you know what I mean. Um, anyway, uh and there again, there was a magazine that came in because we had an uh, art exhibition. And uh, we were so proud of our arts. It was just, we, we had ceramics, we had paintings, we had, um, actually, I did a lot of uh, drawing and sketching back then with, you know, with the crayons and the lead pen paint and not lead paint. What am I saying? uh like the charcoals and stuff like that i was using that a whole lot back then too there's also a medium that i don't really use much anymore but i loved it back then 
uh, but there was also a lot of painting and sculpting and putting stuff together and I just loved it. And there was also writing, creative writing in that and I loved it. It was so amazing. And we had a magazine coming in and the journalist there was looking at stuff and some of the stuff he went by kind of, <laughs> yeah, whatever. You know, he and he had this smirk on his face like this is just crap. And our art teacher, she was a really, she had a backbone. She went up to this journalist and said, how dare you sniffle at this amazing art? Just because you are so ignorant and don't know what it is, doesn't mean you're right. And she said, art comes from the intent of the creator. And I think that's amazing. That's exactly what it is. Art comes from with the intent from the creator. And it doesn't matter what kind of art it is. If, if, it's, a, if it's a bag charm, it's still an expression. You still put things together that you like. If it's a, if it's a budget journal, it's still an expression. Now mine is gotten kind of out of hand, but you know, um, it's still an, ex an expression of yourself. There are no rules in art. It, it, it's creating things. It comes from within you. You put stuff together that, you know, and with everything you do, with everything you create, you learn. Like, uh, maybe next time I will be a bit more selective with, <laughs> but I, I love this too. I love this too. It, it's, it's not, um, real practical. But I kind of love doing this. So I'm going to keep doing it because I love it. And this is for me. No one else has to bother about it gaping like a, I don't know. And it's going to be gaping even more because I keep putting, you know, bills in and stuff. So it's going to be gaping a lot more. But that's up to me. It's mine. And no one can tell me that it's wrong. Um, they can only tell you what they prefer. I prefer a journal that doesn't gape like a mad alligator. Um, if you make a picture that is 99% white and I don't like that, it doesn't mean that I can tell you that's wrong because it isn't. I can only tell you that is not my style. That is not what I like. Um, if someone look in my journal, for example, let's say one of my friends come over, they see my journal and say, oh, but I think that would look better with black lace. That's one thing. That's constructive criticism. That is something that they feel might be looking good. So I can take my journal and just okay, grab it again. <laughs> this is bouncing back and forth today. Okay, so uh, where did I put my... Ba, 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 ba. Let me just find my stuff. Here we are. So she said, oh, it looks better with black lace. So I might, you know... Keep an open mind. Don't stress about it. You don't, just because someone says something doesn't mean you have to do it. But keep an open mind because you might like it. So maybe she says, oh, that page would look better with black lace. So I can do this. And I say, yeah, that would look better with black lace. Okay, so I know that for next time. That doesn't mean I'm going to rip my piece apart because, heck no, I'm not doing that. But I know for next time, well, maybe that looks better, you know. Maybe I should try black lace more because I'm really bad at using black lace. I love black lace. I buy black lace, but I don't use it. I'm so bad at using it. I need to get better at that. But that's for me, you know. When I create, I go from what I like, what I feel. Um, and, uh, I, but, you know, you can always have constructive criticism. Just because she says black lace might look better, and I agree, doesn't mean it's wrong to put white lace. Because that's what I like, because it, I feel like it matches the book. Because I've been using white or, you know, brownish, um, tarnished lace throughout the whole thing. So that's kind of a common thread through it. Because every month is different color scheme. So I feel like it needed something. So I put lace uh, that kept it together. That's the, the, the common thread in that. Uh, same thing when I use uh, watercolors, for example. I hear from, you know, those uh, proper painters 
the snobbish kind that I do it wrong because I make my watercolors right. I make them strong. I make them powerful. It almost looks like I've been using like um, acrylics because the colors are so strong and bold. Um, but that's the way I like it. And the true artists understand that. And I know my art teachers, they truly understood that too. And they were like, wow, how do you get them so bright? And like, that's awesome too. It's a different style. It doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just a different style. I would love to... Mm. Oh, there. Let me show you. In a... This is not me. This is... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to push you. This is a watercolor painting made by a man named Torstan. Um, he's an amazing artist. Now he used, his colors are, uh, can you even see, is it too? No. Uh, his colors are kind of colorful, but they still have that watercolor feel. It looks a lot stronger on, on camera than it is in real life. They still have that kind of misty watercolor feel to it. And I, I can't get this technique down, you know. And um, if you're aiming for a certain look, and you can't get that look that you are aiming for, then you can say, oh, I'm doing it wrong. I don't know what to do about a certain technique. Because um, I would love to do that kind of misty, kind of soft watercolor painting stuff too. I just, I just really can't get that technique down. And at the same time, I, I managed a few times to get a kind of watercolory painting, kind of softish. But then I always go in again with more color. I don't know. I'm, I'm just a very color person. Yeah. I say here, as I said, with a green base, like green sweater. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about my green sweater, by the way. It's filthy as heck. Uh, it's going in the laundry today because it's finally a lot warmer outside. So I can turn off the electric radiators. Anyway, that's a whole different story. Long, strange story. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is there are no rules in art. It's only a matter of taste. If you like something, or even if you hate something. I mean, look at the Edvard Munch. He made this uh, famous picture, The Scream. You can Google it, The Scream. Uh, Skriet. Um, and I don't like that painting, but I recognize it as art. But just because I don't like it doesn't mean I have the right to say it's wrong just because I don't like something. If I don't like, uh, I don't know. It, let's say you make a journal and I don't, it's not my taste. I can't tell you it's wrong. Right? I can always tell you, oh, that's not my style. It, it's well done and, and, you know, stuff like that. You can, you can always find something good in, in everything um, but it's not to my taste it's not the style I'm used sometimes it's really fun to I've been experimenting lately with a lot of different styles and different techniques that I don't use much or haven't used in a very long time and I find that inspiring it boosts my creativity to the max I've been doing so many fun things lately uh, or I have shown my I don't know why, I mean, yeah, I kind of know why I haven't filmed because I've been sick. I've having had a really nasty cold, but anyway, um, I have a whole time to show you because my creativity, I've just gone. <sighs> and, um, you know, some of the stuff I've been doing, this I've showed you, like mini envelopes, mini envelopes, mini envelopes, mini envelopes. Mini envelopes, mini envelopes, mini envelopes, mini envelopes, mini envelopes. Yeah, I kind of went overboard with that a little bit. And then I happened to stumble on um, the paper outpost. She uh, did, this is not her idea either, and she said that in her video about these... Um, when you make these heart shaped envelopes that you just kind of fold up like this and then you have a heart you know so i while i was watching that i was making these 
<laughs> so these still need decorations and stuff. So yeah, um, the bigger the paper you use, the bigger heart envelope you can make. She used big papers like regular big, and she make big hearts that you can decorate properly, you know. And then you just fold it up. <gasps> so cute. Um, yeah, and I've been making dangles, and I've been meaning to show you how and what I'd make there. And I've been using ugly papers to, you know, to use them up. Um, long story short, there are no rules in art. And anyone who says differently, close your ears and you do you. Okay? Can you promise me that? You do you. However, listen to constructive criticism and try it out. If you like it, do it. If you don't like it, skip it. No one can tell you what to do. I'm not going to go tell you, oh, you have to put that there and you have to make a yellow sun there and you have to put that stamp there. No. I might suggest it. How would it look if you put that stamp there? And if I would do it, I would probably put this and that there. But that would be me. It wouldn't be you. But you can test it out and see if it's something you like. Um, so, guys, let's keep our society and our little community positive. And let's skip the rules, shall we? And just enjoy making and creating all kinds of stuff. Okay? So I'll see you guys out there and happy crafting and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.